I just welded two plastic rods onto this this housing here in a spot here in the back just for a test one is this uh, soft rubbery one that came with that uh, new um, soldering or um, so-called welding gun for plastic and the other one is welding rods plastic rods that I had from Harbor Freight this is an ABS rod and the reason I welded it onto this is to see they're cooled down now I can pull on them and see how they do I want to see how they hold up this one being soft I don't know if it just has air in it to make it more flexible if it's spongy and it really dries or sets up more solid once you uh, weld it into place I don't know this one's already more solid to start with so let's pull on them and see what they do well the black one came off but it's soft and rubbery I think the main reason it came off it's it stayed on here too I think it's because it's just a soft material yeah it's just a soft material See, it doesn't take much to tear it in half the right color but not hard enough this one didn't do well at all there's two other styles of rods in this bag from Harbor Freight I'm going to try those and see what happens This bigger iron does get hotter and it is keeping the plastic in somewhat of a liquid form a whole lot better than that little one is. But that little one does an excellent job of pinpointing fine cracks and getting something started. I'm just practicing right now and filling in these holes that I made when I was trying to stick these rods to see which one was going to stick better I just hope it's not sinking in too, too far on the inside of this thing and, and going to interfere with something in there I still don't think it's blending as good as I'd like it to. Wish I just had some scrap pieces of this same material. I think they'd work better because I'm not sure that this rod is even as compatible as it could be. it's got to be melted on the surface underneath before I try to melt the rod onto it that's where the hot air plastic welder comes in better but this is like too small of a of an area for that
Yes, we have to keep a shiny surface on this and we know it's kind of liquid. That's tricky to do. And I do that when I weld steel with a torch. And if this was steel, I could fill that hole in with wire, with coat hanger wire and a, and a torch and just weld that thing all the way up. I've done that many times, filled in holes that were blown away with a, a gas torch and a, and a wire, like a coat hanger wire. I might be able to get good enough with this plastic to be able to do something like that with that too. This this new iron here with this big foot on it, it is better and it is hotter than that little one. And I think it's going to do better than super glue and baking soda. I don't know, haven't tried it, but I think the I think this will do better. Well, I'm bridging the gap slowly but surely. And I think I found a little trick that's helping me. I'm going to start a new one here, a new line. And the little trick I think I found, or I found it, I just don't know if it's really helping or not, I think so, is to preheat on top of the iron, the rod, while I'm melting the plastic where I'm going to lay the rod. I'm running the tip of the rod over here on what's already in running the tip of the iron over there and rubbing the rod on top of the iron to keep it warm and to keep the the rod melting on the bottom side and it seems to be working and I'm just trying to get a just a piece of the rod on to this other side here and then I melt the top of it with another rod after this one's laid in there I'm learning how to do this. I never had to fill a hole like this with with uh, soldering plastic. So this is learning for me. Well, I just keep working that way all the way across. If I leave the camera on, the video will never end. So we'll just keep skipping. I'm tired of messing with it. I'm quitting. But I got about an hour and a half or so tied up in it. Probably shouldn't have taken that long, but I'm new with plastic welding. 
this is just filling holes that I made trying to stick rods to it to find out which rod will stick and this is my work here and even though it's still hot to touch I can't press on it real hard because it hurts um, this seems to be pretty I don't want to push on it real hard but you know after it cools it should be better but I think I think we're in business there it seems to be on there pretty good and I got my new um, LEDs to put in here be putting those in I'll put them in and just plug it in and see how they work